What's up YouTube? This is Biased in the X79. Guys, today I'm coming to you with a bandless discussion video on cars that should be moving off or down the list for the January 2019 ban list. All right. First off, Chaos Emperor Dragon. All right, this car just recently was re reprinted as a jump promo with its errata. Now, the errata clearly states you cannot activate other cards or effects during the turn you activate this card's effect, which means this is more or less a not going back style of effect. You should be utilizing this effect to be swinging for game and not letting your opponent have the ability to attempt to crawl back into the game. All right. Now, personally, I would have wanted this card to be reprinted in the Savage Strike Special Edition because its effect is kind of savage. Unfortunately, those promos have already been announced and Chaos and Bear Dragon Envoy of the End is not one of them. However, there are at least two other products coming out this year that we could see this card be reprinted in. The, now, this card was used by Kaiba in the anime. If you watch the Kaiba Grand Prix, his duel against Siegfried, you, it makes the appearance. So with that being said, Kaiba does have a speed duel deck coming out later this month. This could be a way to actually get this card mass printed and into the TCG's hand very quickly. Not only that, but putting this card into speed duel format might actually turn around and shake things up a little bit. Who knows? The other reprint we could potentially be getting would be Duelist Power, which comes out in April. All right. I know there's a lot of different reprints in there. Um, there are several imports that were jump promos that we haven't gotten yet that are going to be in that set that's been confirmed so far. So I wouldn't be surprised if we see Chaos Emperor Dragon in that set. I mean, having this card anything less than Ultra Rare doesn't seem right to me. But with that being said, we're going to move on to the next card that should be moving down off the list. El Shadow Construct. I can tell you right now, right now, the meta seems to be shaping up to be a very good mix of decks. And right now, I know Thunder Dragons are kind of on the top, and Altergeists are now kind of right behind it. Um, based on the results for YCS Sydney. However... I think El Shadal Construct coming back is actually a pretty good idea because right now we got we got super polymerization in the game, which allows you to turn around and fuse with your opponent's monsters, which means we can actually turn around and have weapons to utilize against Shadal can now have weapon a weapon to utilize against the Dragon decks. All right, and not only that, but Construct being able to keep the balance. Between all the different mechanics, kind of necessary now because I know we're going to be getting synchros going to be coming major in the upcoming Seven Strike set. So balancing it out by allowing Shadow Construct to come back to one, pretty awesome. All right, for spells, one card I want to see come down the list is Super Rejuvenation. I mean, this card was banned basically because of Dragon Rulers. Dragon Rulers are Dead. I don't think we're going to ever get to see those cards back here in the TCG at all. I mean, and right now we don't have any Dragon decks that really discard or tribute enough for this card to be really generating the pluses it was back in the Dragon Ruler format. With that being said, bringing this card back down to one, I don't know, it could potentially give Guard Dragons a, a, a boost... I mean, it is unlimited in the OCG. I mean, let's just see what what will happen if bring back the one. I, I seriously doubt this card will make any level of impact if it came back to one. All right, and there is a trap card I want to talk about. And this is Time Seal. This card, I still don't know why it's on the ban list. All right, yes, it says skip the draw phase of your opponent's turn. Here's the thing. In the current game of Yu-Gi-Oh!, the R-types are so consistent in which you have so much draw power or search power being added into them. Skipping a draw phase doesn't really matter to those decks. Because all they're going to do is search and get the resources they need anyway. 
So what's the point of keeping this card on the ban list? I mean, think about it. One copy, not going to break the game. Alright, so for cards that should be moving from limited to semi-limited, I have Dynamite Knight, the True Record Fighter, yeah. This card, Threat True Records aren't doing anything. Giving them back an extra monster isn't going to do much for the deck. Personally, I just turn around and don't see it. Most players know how to play around this deck anyway. Effect negation is coming back in a big way. We, we're getting infinite impermanence now. Infinite impermanence is basically everywhere. We get, we're seeing effect failure being coming more prominent. So yeah, I don't see the purpose of this card remaining at one at all. The same thing with the next spell. If I can get up here. All right, that's Book of Moon. Book of Moon. Okay, Synchros are coming back. A lot of the mechanics require you to be sending face-up monsters from the field to the graveyard. Flipping a monster face down kind of hurts those mechanics. Having this, this card of two is just this huge. I mean, it allows you to fight back without having to destroy anything. I mean, it's unlimited in OCG, not really having an impact there, so why can't we have it back to in ours? All right, the other spell that I want to see back is Pantheons of the, Mon of the Monarchs. To me, Monarchs need the consistency to really be effective. Putting this card on a 2 and keeping it at 2 is not going to be that bad. I don't see Konami giving us more than two copies of this card. Um, for consistency's sakes, yeah, it helps the deck out. And you know what? Fine, if, the, if Monarchs don't do anything after that, it's not a bad move. I mean, I don't see things like Stormforth coming off because that card just gives way too much power to a lot of different decks. Um, and I don't see Aether coming up because with the way it can spam out monsters, yeah, that's just asking for problems. Pantheism is the safest choice to bring down off the list. And giving the players two copies of it for modern decks, not a bad thing. I mean, monarchs are a great way to counter the meta. I mean, why not just let them be a little bit more con consistent here? Add things to the, to the game that will make it a little bit more fun and diverse. And since I gave us back Dynamite Knight to one to two, I say True King's Return should come back down to two as well. I mean, it just makes sense. If we're going to put down Dynamite Knight to two, we should give the deck more traffic and search just so it doesn't lose those resources that easily. Alright, guys, that's it. Those are my eight cards that I think that should be moved down off the list on the next ban list. Hopefully we see maybe a few of these on the next one, on the next list. Who knows? Next list is due out no sooner than January 21st, which is a week from today. So guys, until next time, peace.